Hello chefs, good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good night. Welcome back to Close Kitchen. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. If you are new here, welcome to my kitchen. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for new videos. Today I will be unboxing this Bezrat stainless steel 2 quart food meal. I'm also going to show you a demo on how to assemble it and how to use it. So let's see what's in the box. It has a small one sheet direction on how to assemble the parts and how not to assemble the parts. There are no care instructions, neither maintenance instructions. So I bought this food meal from Amazon for my potatoes and my tomatoes. We had the same exact one when I was a child. So let's check out the parts and each function. So first I'm counting how many parts that I have to assemble. So this food meal comes with five stainless steel pieces. So this is the main part of the food meal. It's shaped like a pot with no bottom. It has a long handle and also it has a piece that's going to fit on your bowl or your pot. It has two braces, one on each side, and I will let you know why it has those braces. It also has a rotating blade. It is not a sharp blade, but it does the job. And it also has a rotating handle. This piece hooks on to the braces that I mentioned previously. It has a crank mechanism. The spring helps to push down the blade and lock it in place. Next we have three interchangeable discs that comes in three sizes. This is the medium grid. So it all depends if you want to puree or strain ingredients like carrots tomatoes or potatoes. We also have the small or fine grid. The back of the grids pretty much feel like a grater. And lastly we have the large grid with larger holes. So let's use the large grid. I'm going to put it inside of the main piece and I'm going to apply pressure to push it all the way down until it's snug at the bottom of the main piece. Next I'm going to connect the blade to the grid. This piece has to fit in the center of the grid. Next, I'm locking the rotating blade in place by attaching both sides of the crank mechanism to the braces. And this step is very challenging. So there you go, it's attached after breaking a sweat.
there is a little bit of resistance. So now I'm going to show you how to use it and I'm going to use potatoes as an example. As you can see, I'm using the large grid. I have some peeled potatoes that I prepped to make some mashed potatoes, but I think that you can put it in here with the skin. So now I'm going to rotate the blade to mash the potatoes. Honestly guys, it's supposed to be a smooth rotation. The blade is getting stuck. The crank mechanism is coming off of the braces. It's a hot mess. This and it. Return to sender. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. So I tried to reattach the crank mechanism so that I can finish these potatoes. I even tried to rotate the blade from left to right. I finally got it to work a little, but I think for the potatoes, the medium grid would work better. So I'm going to continue and finish the rest of the potatoes in the food mill. I did not sign up or volunteer for this workout. So this is the mashed potatoes with the large grid. Personally, I would not use this food meal again. I will stick to my food processor for now until I can find a better food meal. I was going to try the medium grid but I'm done. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on this food meal and if you've ever used one. And also, let me know if you make your mashed potatoes from scratch or you buy the box potatoes. I hope that you have enjoyed watching this unboxing as well as the demo. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And as always, keep cooking chefs. Bye.